I was able to save this customer thousands of dollars by not having to dig the floor up strictly because of the videos that I see on this app. It was originally thought that that Y was gonna have to be replaced, but because of people like iPlummit and Boston Plumbing Monster and Plumbing Skater, I was able to use this whole saw trick I see them do all the time. Because of that, I was able to just screw this out and not have to chisel the lead out. This only took about five to 10 minutes and I was able to save this Y fitting that's sticking up out of the ground. The customer thought we were originally gonna have to dig the floor up to replace that Y, but I figured I'd give this a shot first and it worked out awesome. Where I'm at, we call these rubber pieces donuts and we really don't use them very often. I had to special order that fitting and it took a day to get in. I chamfer the edges and I use grease to fit it in. And I'm just kind of like getting my measurements here. I wasn't able to put this in completely built, but I am gonna install a new clean out because that one to the left there is no longer operable. Yes, I'm gonna tape and dope the threads on that clean out just to make sure that I don't have any leaks. Once that's ready to go, I put some sealant around the rubber donut and hammer the new clean-out tee in. The sealant is not necessary on the donut. I was just going overkill. And yes, where I'm at, in order for us to transition from PVC to ABS, that's painted ABS, by the way, we have to use a fern co. Threw the water on, leak tested it, saved a ton of money.